Product life cycles and seasonality can rarely be avoided. Some products can expire for good, and others can go out of stock. Out of those that go out of stock, some may be restocked, others won't. Other products are available only during a certain season, while some products are evergreen and never change or run out of stock. The way you handle product life cycles from an SEO perspective depends on the future inventory availability. There is no definitive correct way to handle product life cycles, but generally try to avoid removing out of stock items URLs until you know if the product comes back in stock or not. If you remove URLs, they will return a 404 header response. 404 pages are taken out of the index after a while, and you might lose some possible backlinks. If you need to return a 404 page, then at least create a custom page that will help reduce bounce rates. Also, avoid serving soft 404s, which are basically light content pages responding with 200 OK response code, but their content says just, sorry, item is no longer available, or something similar. Do not 301 redirect every out of stock PDP to the home page or to their parent category page. Since the home page is unrelated to the out of stock product, 301 redirecting a PDP will be treated as a soft 404, and this will not preserve indexing signals. Use meta expiry if your items are not available after a certain date. Classified ads can be marked up with this tag. In this screenshot, you can see how the server responds with 200 OK for a dummy URL request. There are instances when this kind of setup makes sense. For example, when you want a PDP to load properly with only a product ID present in the URL, even if there are broken parameters and values in that URL. In this case, you need to include a URL canonical to the representative PDP URL. Let's see how you can handle discontinued products. These are products that have reached the end of their life cycles. For example, Canon stopped manufacturing the Canon EOS 1DS Mark III model in 2012. Sometimes, end-of-life cycle products are replaced with a newer model, but other times they are discontinued for good. If a product is replaced with a newer version, you can 301 the URL for the old model to the latest product URL. If possible, alert users with a message that the product they are looking for has been discontinued and it has been replaced with a new one. The old product name should not be close to the text not available in the source code, otherwise the not available text may show up in the SERP snippet. You can even place the non-availability message in a robothead iframe or JavaScript to avoid that. Do this only to improve the CTR on SERPs and not to attempt to game search engines. Because the target market doesn't immediately stop searching for a product when the manufacturer discontinues it, you should redirect searches only after you notice a significant decline in the search demand for that product, or when all your stocked items for that SKU are sold out. Until that time, display a notice on the old PDP announcing that the product has been discontinued and linked to the newer version. Some prefer leaving both pages alive indefinitely, with or without a notification message, depending on stock availability. In this screenshot, the PDP is still available and responds with a 200 OK code, although the product has been discontinued. This is an acceptable solution, because after all, if you still have the discontinued item in stock, you want to sell it. Let's discuss a less known approach which is to target upcoming products. Create pages for high demand products that have not yet been released, but will be on the market shortly. Such pages must be content rich and helpful for users. The usefulness of this tactic is that these pages will be mostly non-commercial and they will have the ability to gather links organically from trusted sources more easily compared to commercial pages. A month before the new product launch, increase the amount of internal links to those pages, for example, by linking from the homepage. 
take pre-orders or capture contact info before the launch date. The moment the product becomes available, allow users to add to cart. If you plan well, you'll be positioned ahead of your competitors at the product release date. Let's discuss out-of-stock products. There are two main use cases for out-of-stock products. The product will never be restocked, or the product goes only temporarily out of stock. If the product will never be restocked, you have a couple of options. The first is 301 redirects to one of the following pages. Another variation of the product, for example, the same product but in a different color. Or to a replacement product, for example, an updated version of the product. Or to a parent category or subcategory. This one is not really advisable, so I recommend not doing it. The second option is to leave the PDP page return 404. You will do this only if you can't implement the first option. The third option is to leave the PDP alive and return a 200 OK response code. In this case, it is very important to display a clearly visible notice communicating the reason for unavailability. It's also important to guide users to a replacement or to a similar product. Optionally, the Add to Cart button can be changed to Out of Stock and deactivated so that users can't add the item to cart. To minimize the effects on conversion rate on permanent Out of Stock PDPs, offer related items in a very accessible spot on the page. If the product goes temporarily Out of Stock, the page should return a 200 OK response and let customers know that the product is currently out of stock. It should also provide users an estimated availability date if that's possible. Eventually, you should offer an incentive to compensate for the inconvenience and to collect their email address to announce the relaunch of the product. Additionally, make sure users can backorder the product. In this image, you see that the temporarily out of stock messaging is easy to spot and it's clear. However, it would be better to have it separated from the product name. If all the products under a subcategory are out of stock and the PDP is received qualified traffic in the past, 301 redirect to the parent category. The subcategory page will redirect to the parent category since it doesn't have any stocked products. This may not be the best approach from an user experience perspective, but you may want to preserve eventual backlinks pointing to the PDPs and to the subcategory page. Keep in mind that shoppers may become frustrated if too much of your inventory is out of stock. In this case, mark up the affected pages with no index and remove them from navigation until your inventory improves. This helps addressing content quality and Panda penalties. Here are some additional recommendations for handling out-of-stock products. Google treats expired products as soft 404 errors. This means that out-of-stock pages are considered low quality and in many cases such pages should be no indexed. Google's official recommendation is to remove out-of-stock pages from their index by returning a hard 404 page not found header response. However, this approach doesn't work well for UX and conversion. Out of stock SKUs should not be presented anywhere in the site navigation. However, they can appear on internal site search results pages when someone queries the SKU number or the SKU name. Out of stock URLs should be accessible for typing traffic or email to assist those who have questions about a product they purchased in the past and is now out of stock. Out of stock products should be accessible for the sales team on your intranet. Neither 404s on discontinued or long term out of stock product URLs, which is what many times Google recommends, nor 301 or 302 header redirects provide the most optimal user experience. Google says don't 301 or 302 to a parent category or homepage, and this is the correct thinking. I believe there is a better approach for user experience and SEO. Instead of a useful 404 page, 
Show the out of stock page only to users landing from outside your website, for example, coming from organic traffic or from a referring source. On this page, display a model window with a very short and clear message about the product status. Offer one link to the out of stock product and the other link to the related or replacement product. Be careful about the size of the model window for mobile. It should cover maximum 20% of the screen size and it should be placed at the bottom of the screen. The messaging on the model window can be similar to this. Sorry, this product is out of stock. Do you wish to visit the out of stock product or navigate to the replacement product? The model window displays a 10 seconds countdown timer. 10 seconds should be enough for most people to read the message. At zero, the user is redirected to the most appropriate page. The redirect is done with either JavaScript, which seems to be passing SEO signals along, or with the meta refresh tag. If you want to pass authority from the old to the new page, the JavaScript timer and the meta refresh have to be under 5 seconds. Let's see how you can handle seasonal products. If the product is seasonal, handle it in a similar way to out of stock items. If it will return the next season, leave the page in place, notify the users, and remove the ability to place orders. If it won't return, then 301 redirect to another variation of the product, for example, the same product but in a different color, or redirect to a replacement product. Seasonal products, just like event and holiday URLs, require some attention in regards to URL naming and maintenance. For example, if you use years in the URL, it's like starting over again when you update the URL next year. Of course, you could do a 301 redirect from the previous year's URL to the current one, but it's better to avoid using URLs that designate a year or other time indicator. Instead, use a generic URL that can accommodate new dates or models in existing URLs. For example, Ford uses ford.com slash cars slash focus for their newest focus model, the 2018. Toyota uses toyota.com slash Corolla for all Corolla models, no matter the release year, as you can see in this screenshot. This URL naming convention consolidates links to a single page year after year. The same recommendation applies to special event URLs that occur regularly. Instead of mysite.com slash Valentine's Day 2018, use mysite.com slash Valentine's Day. This page can be promoted harder when the time comes, but it should not be allowed to return a 404 status code after the event ended.